All right, well, it looks like this is taking me up pretty high. Good, I should be able to get to the 14th floor easily now. Where's the uh, elevator right here? Yeah, 13th floor, then I just gotta go up the stairs to the 14th. Excellent. What are those guys doing there? Seven jet black feathers, nice. What are those dudes doing there? Are they gonna stop me? Uh, doesn't seem so. Hey guys, there's a monster out there, isn't there? What happened here? I gotta get outside, guys! Oof, this looks bad. There's no easy fix for this. Can I get out here? How am I going to get to what's his name? What's happening here? I can't move this anywhere. How am I gonna... Let me check his name again. What was his name? Uh, it was... Melonbrawn. How do I get to Melonbrawn? Where can I push that to help me? I know exactly where I can push that to help me. Apparently I have to go through a puzzle to be able to fight- Nope, never mind, it can only go in this general area, it seems. I was gonna push it over there so I could use it to move the box- Oh, never mind, I can move it further. Weird. It, like, stopped me for some reason for a second there. That's fine, though, as long as I can. So my original plan should work, I hope. Wait a sec. I'm making sure the recording is still going well. Okay, it looks like we're still good. Yeah. Yeah, we're still good, okay. Want to make sure that the footage isn't messing up, because I'm having to, uh, normally I always have it pulled up to where I can look at it, but I'm having to pull up the site that I have open to know where to find the, whatchamacallit, it's the Devil's Beasts and all. So I can't look at it constantly like I normally do, and like I like to do. Okay, so now I need to, uh, do this. Put this here. Now I climb up it. I can grab you and move you there. Good. Now, what does this do? Is this gonna help me get to, uh... What's his name? The Devil's Beast? No, it just gets me to a chest. So this was all for a chest. What's in here? A mysterious jewel. Ah, man, Ardith told me where to use those two, and I should probably do it before I go and fight guys in Muse as well. Whoa. Someone was trying to jump out of my throat there. So wait a minute, how do I get to the top again? So I can fight, uh, Melonbrawn? Was it not, like, right this way that I went last time? Huh. I can't remember for the life of me how I got there before. What's this? This is the 13th floor. Oh, is this it? Oh, yeah, that's it. He's gonna be right there. Okay, good. Let's go fight him. Dang it, the most advanced Spyrex weapons ever made, and they can't scratch that thing. Does that monster have a sword stuck in it? Can you tell me what that thing is? Beats the heck out of me, it just attacked out of nowhere. We tried to fight it off with the new Spyrex weapon designed to repel Muse, but they did nothing. You guys get out of here, we'll hold it off for as long as we can. And leave a lady to fend for herself? That's madness! I'm far too chivalrous for that. Right, because picking a fight with an indestructible monster is the very height of sanity. All right, here we go. Melon Brawn. Um, guys, All right. He looks pretty angry. Yeah, he does. He totally... All right, he's weak to water, so I'm gonna want uh, what's his name again? Uh, Rowan. Conviction, wielding such power in its current state. Where did he go? Oh my goodness! It's not conviction. It's merely hanging on to the bloodlust of war. Okay, weak to water. I have a uh, Aqua Sweep. We can only help by ending its misery. You gotta go. Is the sword, like, in its head, I think? It looks like the sword is in its head. This is a pretty cool design, too. They did really good with all these Devil's Beasts. I definitely like them. Where'd you go? You're underground again. Die! Yeah, cool. Pro provide support and hit it with water from a distance. And I will use Sharp Current! Did I even hit it? Where is it? Oh, it went underground again. Great, so it can dodge my attacks by going underground. That's cool. Die, die, die. Don't seem to be having too much trouble so far. Definitely not trouble enough to try and use an all divide. Hopefully, if I do need to use an all divide, I don't have to use it until later in the fight when I've already beaten it a good amount. There goes underground again. Yeah, eat it. Here we go, time to start using arts. Ah, oh, it went underground, of course it did. 
Oh crap, that knocked me out of overlimit, but I still have four things. Okay, good. I'm glad, because I was about to say, I didn't get to use my Mystic Art on this thing. Where are you? There you are, you're underground again. Oh my goodness, ice everywhere. This thing going underground a lot is gonna get really annoying very quickly. How much health does it have? It's got more health than the other, than I think the last one we fought, and the one before that, the cat one. But it does seem to have less than Shuis did. Shuis is like the only one I can remember off the top of my head. But yeah, we're doing good damage so far. Stay on guard. Yeah, I'm all on that. I will stay right on guard. Sharp current! And force wave. Diving falcon. Yep, got that. Oh crap, I meant- Dang it, it went underground and now it's gonna dodge my mystic art. Are you kidding me? Oh, I dodged my mystic art by going underground. That makes me sad. Whatever. I went underground again. This is gonna get so irritating. It's gonna dodge so much of my crap by just going underground. Casually. I can already- Yeah, look, it's going underground again. It's just gonna do that a lot. I forgot to get life bottles again! Oh my goodness! I am so stupid sometimes. So I have to make sure that I keep Elise alive no matter what. Thankfully, this one doesn't seem too hard so far. And I've already got it to about half. Hopefully, it continues to be somewhat easy and doesn't get super hard like that Harpy did. Uh, Folsom, that was the Harpy's name. Go, Sharp Current. Please hit. I actually hit Sharp Current, I think. Alright. Yeah, we're definitely doing really good against this one, I think. I think this is the one I've had the least trouble with so far. I've got to, no matter what, remember to get life bottles after this, or I am so dead when I fight uh, the next one, or the one after that. Like, honestly, I feel like I'm getting a little lucky right now that he's not, like, knocking me down a lot more. I think he's only brought Rowan down once, and that's it. Sharp current! Go, Rock! Go! Get him, Rock! He's underwater again. Underwater? He's underground, not water. I've been using water so much, I think everything involves water now. <laughs> oh yeah, we got him down really low. This is going a lot better than the other fights did. Yeah, please keep them away from Lee's. I can't afford for Lee's to go down or get majorly hurt. Aqua, Aqua Sweep is like the MVP art of this fight, I feel. So I keep hitting him with it, and he keeps falling, and we just keep getting damage off, and I think it's doing good. Ow, it hit me. Crap. Crap. Alright, I need to hit my Mystic Art right now. Yes, Mystic Art, good. It did some damage, too, look at that. Oh my goodness, over 6,000. That was almost 7,000 damage. Dang. That was pretty good. Look at it. Look at his health. He's at 18,000. Awesome. Let's finish this guy off. He does not have much defense. Oh, there's a lot of damage, though. Great. Now he's going to start breaking out the big attacks. Heal, heal. Make sure health is good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, now he's using a lot more, like, wide range electricity attacks, it seems. I definitely need to keep using Aqua Sweep to make sure I keep him down if I can. Get down. Yeah, I get hit with a blue sphere. You're so almost dead. Just die. Look at this, Melon Brawn. You're at 9,000 health. You're in four digits, man. Four digits. Just go down. Go, Sharp Current. It's almost over, dude. It's almost over. Your suffering is about to end, Melon Brawn. I'm taking that sword out of you right now with the Sharp Current. Ha ha ha! Victory. Got four level ups. Not bad. Not yet. I still need to get better. All right. Not bad. There's always room for improvement. I'll overcome anything. Sweet. I can't believe you beat that thing. An electrifying performance, wouldn't you say? Oh yes, I was positively shocked. What is wrong with you two? All that electricity must have scrambled their brains. Is that really possible? That would make sense. Forgive me, just releasing a little tension. I really am impressed that you were able to defeat such a powerful monster without using Spyrex. Oh, that was nothing. My only fear that my only fear was that it wouldn't stick around long enough for us to deliver the finishing blow. I was afraid it might bolt. 
Oh, Rowan. Oh, Rowan. Now I'm the one who's shocked. Perhaps the lightning really has affected Rowan's judgment? I think that hit harder than the monster. All that hard work, and now we're coming off like a bunch of idiots. Oh, that's just cruel, man. He was just making a pun. He was just making a pun, guys. Come on. Wielder of the Devil's Baton. Uh, Lilium Orb real quick, then we're gonna pass the baton to Rowan. Let's get an attack buff, an SP buff on Jude. Then Elise didn't get one. Alvin got a level up, another attack buff, and an SP buff for Alvin. Excellent. Mila got one, so attack buff and SP buff for her. And I think Rowan got a level up, didn't he? Or was it Leia? No, it was Rowan. Yep, Rowan. Uh, this way, a vitality boost and a SP boost for Rowan. Excellent. I do need to get him over to this SP boost. What is this? Oh, yeah, the opportune moment thing. Uh, the Lilium Orbs are... The secondary Lilium Orbs are starting to come towards an end. Jude is my highest level, right? He should be closest to finishing one. Yeah, he's getting pretty close. He's still got a bit to go, though. I'd like to be able to finish one of the, the second Lilium Orbs on Jude if I could before I finish the game. Uh, okay, so wait a minute. Let me open my thing back up over here on my computer because I was looking at the recording during that fight. We've beaten Mel and Braun and gotten Rowan's... Oh, wait. I need to equip Rowan's before I forget. Rowan, instead of Vortex Flame, you now get Melon... Melondetra, the Deathbringer? A weapon once carried by Melonbrawn, one of the Devil's Beasts. A dark, frosty blade which screams out in anguish. Alright, well that's gonna give him nice boosts. Looks pretty cool. It's a lot more basic than the other ones seem. Like, looking at all these ones I already have. I don't have Mila's yet. I'm getting Leia's and Mila's, those are the last two. But it doesn't look as intricate as the others do, but it's kind of it's kind of a more simplistic, but still cool, dark-looking one. I like it. You look really great, Rowan. Why, thank you. I suppose it takes a gentleman of considerable years to pull off a look as splendid as this. Alright, so where is the next one? Rep... Rep... Reparde? Is that how you pronounce that? Reparde? Uh, he has Leia's, and he is in the old Vykil Mine. Where's the Vykil Mine? Isn't that the one next to Laronde? Is that the one next to Laronde, or am I thinking of a different one? Uh, let's jump to Laronde real quick. And stock up on items before I forget to again. I cannot afford to forget items again. I cannot afford it. Uh, let's get my EXP dish again, because after we beat, uh, what's his face here, Reparde, Reparde, I don't know how to pronounce it, but once we, uh, beat him, then we'll be out of the EXP things. They serve food at the Laronde Lodge, you say? Yeah, Leia's dad is probably the best cook in town. If you like, you can come try it for yourself. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I'm certainly interested. That will be next time. We'll, uh, talk with you next time, dude. All I'm worried about right now is the Devil's Beasts. I'm going to be doing a lot of side quest stuff on the next session or two, and then try and wrap up the game. On downward. Is this it? Yep, there it is. Okay, get another one of those. So after I fight this Devil Beast, I'll need to uh, use that again for the last Devil Beast. Alright, so he is at, where is it again? Old Vykel Mine. I think that is the one around here. It should be that way, but let's, uh... We're going to a uh, quick jump to it if I can. Old Vykel Mine. Did I go over it? No, Felgana Mine is the one near here. Where's the Vykel one or whatever it's called? Old Vykel Mine. Oh, is that the one next to, uh, whatchamacallit? Next to, um, ah, oh, what's it called? Shandu? Is it that one? The one where they were testing on people like Elise? Labari Hollow Entrance, Shandu Entrance. No. Where is it? Wait a minute, let me read this. I don't know where that is. Is it Felgana Mine? Oh, the well-known former mine helped sustain Larone's air rush, or sustain Larone's ore rush. I don't think I've run into it. I don't think I've run into a mine other than the Felgana Mine, unless you count the one where I uh, ran into what you call it. Oh, we're here now. This definitely looks like it could be from the picture. Wait a minute, let's go through here for a little bit and see if he's here. Maybe there's a name mix-up or something on the side I'm on. It could just be that. Hazardous liquid. 
So yeah, let's try and look through here real quick. Because this definitely looks like where he would be on the picture, just a little deeper in where there's... He, I see him in front of support beams and stuff, so it's got to be a little deeper in than this. Leave me alone. So yeah, let's try and get as deep... Well, not as deep in as we can get, but get to where there's like structures again, not just a natural cave. 